welcome to science lesson. I'm teacher Faith. So our topic today is weather and our subtopic is measuring weather. And under that today, we are still looking at a wind vane and how to use a wind vane. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to know or you will be able to use a wind vane. So before we start, I want you to get your pen and book. Now in our previous lesson, we looked at how to construct a wind vane. And now that we constructed our wind vane, we now want to know how to use our wind vane. So to use a wind vane, number one, place the wind vane on an open space or on top of a building. Why is it supposed to be placed in an open space or on top of a building? To ensure free movement of wind. Then number two, use a compass to find the compass north. Then number three, after using a compass to find the compass north, then place the wind vane north to point the compass north. Then the arrow of the wind vane always points to the direction from which the wind is blowing. So children, that is how you use a wind vane. So what you're supposed to note is that the surface area of the tail should be larger than that of the arrowhead. So up to that point, we now know how to use a wind vane and there's an exercise here and it's only one question and the question is why should a wind vane be put on an open space or on top of a building? So up to that point, we come to the end of our lesson and in our next lesson we shall look at another instrument and that is a windsock. So thank you for your attention and goodbye. Subscribe for more videos. Like this video if you learned something. Please don't forget to share.